The trace system call features located at the bottom of the main window has been inspired by the trace command we find on Unix system, which is a very convenient, convenient way to understand the interaction between a program and his operating system. So we parameter the system call uh, by using the preferences window, second tab, where basically we select what we want to trace, could be process 8, process 16, GSOS calls, but also toolbox, and what we want to display in the lower part here. So let's take the number of cycle and the call number. So let's take operating system, uh, integer mat, and of course load manager, which is a, a good convenient way to understand the load and the save of the file, even by the system itself. Let's update and run a little bit the application. If I'm not doing anything, I'm starting to receiving uh, information about call. So even if I don't move the mouse that much, GSOS called uh, defunction and destatus on a regular basis. Okay, I can see the first column is uh, is the number of cycle taken by the operation, and the second one is uh, the call number itself. So it could be a little bit annoying to receive a lot of information. So the first thing usually is to filter what we don't want. So basically, I don't want to be bothered by destatus and de info. So I'm simply entering here the call number, so that would be 22D. 22D and 22C, uh, update parameter, uh, we clear and start again. And now when I'm moving the mouse, I don't receive uh, anything else, which is good. If I click on the icon, I'm receiving something. So what this time, it's no more GSOS, it's uh, the toolbox, TO mean tools. 11 is a tool number, so we can see it's integer mat mat. So we have some multiply uh, function called uh, and between parentheses, all the parameter. A parameter between bracket is a return uh, parameter, uh, simple parameter, the input one are uh, stored like they are. So basically here, what do we have? We have a multiplication between A0 and 4B, uh, which is 260 bit number and as a result we have a 32 uh, integer number. The total number of cycles for a multiplication is about 754 cycles. We could read here, of course, I can also save the result of the output in a file and uh, look directly uh, the information in the file. This time all the display information has been included, the global operation, the total number of cycles for the operation, the address in memory where the call has been made, and the call number. It's always the same function, so the call number is always the same here. Let's see now how does that can help to see the startup and application. This time I'm going to remove my integer mat, uh, clear a little bit here, and try to start an application. So let's start uh, GS Experience. Okay, software has been started. I stop. As I can see, as soon as the software was loaded, I didn't receive any more something here. I can look at the information by uh, increasing the size of the window, of course, but the easy way is uh, probably the most convenient way is to save in a file and directly look from a file. So here, what we have is the list of this time GSOS call. Sometimes uh, the tool, uh, the load manager tool, are also involved in the loading application. Uh, and so here, the file which has been loaded in memory was JS uh, Experience. So as we can see, we have an open, uh, which is a JSOS call. The parameter was, of course, the path uh, of the file. And as a return, we have a file description number. And the file description number will be used by the next read operation and get mark, as we can see. The read. What is funny is that you have a mix between GSOS and Prodos 16 call, because, of course, uh, this was an old software uh, run by uh, Prodos 16. Uh, as soon as the software has been loaded, nothing else is added. Uh, so, of course, software has been closed. It is running. While the software is running, we don't receive any other call, so I can make it run nothing new. The last one was the close and the, and the opening. As soon as I'm going to quit the software, uh, I'm going to receive much more other uh, system call. Uh, let's stop. Once again, save it uh, on a file. Uh, just look at what we have inside. So the beginning was, of course, the previous information we had. Uh, yes, it was here that we stopped last time okay and when uh, i have asked for 
quitting the application, it was time to quit and to uh, restart uh, the Finder. When a software call uh, succeeds, uh, you have information. When something goes wrong, you have an error and uh, you quit uh, immediately. For example, here, he has tried to open the fast mode, so the probably was not there, and so you receive the uh, error call. What is interesting is for every call, you have the number of cycles uh, taking by the call, so it's always a good way to see how long uh, information takes. For example, when you have to restart the finder, uh, we can see that is uh, making the list of the font by reading uh, the directory uh, of the system font, and so you can see the iteration of all the file and so on. So it's pretty interesting to see everything that the software has to do when you quit one application and you go back to the finder.